now getting a, a live view of Hurricane Dorian from one of these outboard cameras in the station right now, 261 statute miles. It's already crossed over the island of Cuba, and it's now off to the west of Haiti. That was the view of Hurricane Dorian from the International Space Station in the last couple of days. It's a powerful storm, a broad storm, one that will be impacting the Bahamas and Florida, especially the Bahamas in the near term. Expect 10 to 15 feet of storm surge in the northern Bahamas, one to two feet of rain. The islands of Grand Bahama, Abaco will be hit extremely hard, while even the central Bahamas are going to get a big impact from Dorian. Following the Bahamas, then it's going to be Florida. Storm surge, tornadoes, wind, flash flooding, rip currents, all of those things are in your forecast. As of early Saturday morning, August 31st, 2019, you very clearly see the eye of Dorian. The hurricane force winds, the winds over 75 miles an hour, are actually limited to an area that's 60 miles across. So the core of the storm is fairly small, but it's powerful. In the last couple of days, we talked about this scenario of it moving on to Florida, stalling and creating storm surge on both sides of the coast. Now that would assume it moves to the central portion of Florida and the storm surge, that's wind that blows water on shore. And just like Irma last year, there was wind that blew water offshore. So these are things you have to be considering if you're in the state of Florida. But now, when you look at the forecast for rainfall, here's the update as of today, the seven day outlook, you'll notice most of the rain, the projection has shifted more to the east. In other words, the track forecasts appears to be shifting based on the latest data that we're getting. In the Bahamas, rainfall one to two feet. That's what you see in that very bright color. And then along the coast of east coast of Florida, Georgia, the South Carolina coastline, six to 12 inches of rain easily. Now these are averages based on the updated projection. And you can be certain the projection will continue to change day by day as we get more data. The one thing that's not likely to change is the fact that this is a powerful storm. Category four winds as of this morning, likely to remain that way as it approaches Florida and then makes a turn similar to Irma, making a turn which is going to make a big difference on where it goes inland. Now the data comes from the NOAA hurricane Hurricane hunters, this is video, they fly higher in the storm. The U.S. Air Force Reserve hurricane hunters are also flying in the storm today. So bit by bit, we're finding out more of the structure of it. But again, be prepared for change and most importantly, be prepared. Stay updated with this storm. It may not in some locations be as intense as you've been hearing, but in other locations, it can be that much more worse. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals. Stay safe.